It is a fantastic venue here at the Carolina Country Music Fest. I'm certainly glad to be a part of this evening's broadcast to show you all the things that make this venue great for the area, for Myrtle Beach, and the entire state of South Carolina. I am even more excited to have these guys with me here this evening. We have the Gator 107.9 Morning Show Gator Boys, the awesome radio station, Adam Dellinger, James Beerley, and I tell you, you guys, you do a great job on the radio and you're here at this event. This is what country music is all about, bringing it to the people. Talk about what your listeners enjoy every day that you present to them. Well, it's not anything we do. Let's just be clear on that right <laughs> off the bat. It is country music, and that's uh, seriously what it is. The format gives everybody something, right? Whether it's the young ladies. Now, Marin Morris, Kelsey Ballerini, who are both at the festival. Uh, Keith Urban, Tim McGraw's more traditional stuff. There's rock, there's pop, everything sort of merges together. There's no age limits. There's no, I mean, it just is it. It includes everybody. That's what I think is so great about country music. You will find little kids all the way right. to, you know, the senior kids, so to speak, that <laughs> enjoy this type of music. And so much going on at the festival. You've got meet and greets. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, if you come by and see us at the Gator 107.9 tent, we're set up inside. We've got meet and greets. We did Gary Allen Thursday night. We've got them for you all weekend long, so stop by and see us. This is the second year, yes. so I feel like I think Adam would agree that they got uh, some kinks worked out. And, uh, very nice. It's been nice so far. Yep. Looking at record a uh, number of people being here this year. Some of the event organizers that we've talked to said that they're expecting double the attendance, but that's nothing to be alarmed about because they've made some amenities available that they haven't had before. More screens so that everybody can see anything, uh, more facilities for everybody to use. So once again, I think they've covered all the bases. I think it's a great event, and I have to go ahead and ask you, do you, do you have a favorite artist? Is there somebody that you like more than another? They, we won't tell them what you say. Uh, excuse me, Tim McGraw is in Myrtle Beach. The dude does movies. Come on now. He's in Seabiscuit. Come on. I'm with you. I love him. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what about you? I don't know. I, some of the country, like traditional country music fans might hate me for this, but I'm looking forward to Florida Georgia Line. Yeah. That's, oh, that's yeah. Because this kind of crowd, Myrtle Beach, Florida Georgia Line is Myrtle Beach. I just think that, that I think that's, it's going to be a big party. I do too. I, I think that's what makes country music great is like you've said, it's just all across the board, the, the the different types of music, you will find it in country. Right. Can you leave Rusty on the roof and come watch country music with us? Because I think that's a good time. All, all day long with okay, you guys. Okay, cool. And when will you have me back on the radio again with you? When do you want to come back I on will the let radio? you know. That's an open, invitation. open uh, invitation all the time. Uh, listen, it's been great to have you guys. Thanks so much for being with us. And uh, let's hear for the festival, right? Yeah, let's Woo! go. Yeah. All right. Woo! Back to you.